hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to create an authentication configuration file and this configuration file is provided by authentication providers that we use it to access the apis for instance if we want to access google apis we have to get this authentication credential file and this file is provided in json format so now because we are going to use google i'll show you how to create this in the this website console.cow.go.com and here you will be asked to log in here you have to provide the google email address because i'm using google as authentication providers i will use the, in this project but the same thing you can do for other authentication providers here is a home screen and this is a prompt for welcome this is a welcome prompt and here are my google account information the profile here as you can see here is a country selection and is selected by default here you can check for terms of service and here you can check if you want to receive email updates with the google apis from now we are done when we are in the dashboard here we have to click on credentials create credentials we are going to create credentials if you are new to this one it means you have not created any project you have to create a project and i'm going to create a project for you today select your create project and by default google provide this project in your code so if you create the first project you remain with 12 projects in hand here you have to put the project name and here you have to put the organization if you have an organization but if you don't have organization you can leave as default the no organization i'll put the project here project name my example project Now click create and you can see notification here that a project has been created in the notification icon. The first thing is to create an API key. If you want to access an API with API key, you can create it here an API key. But you should know that some API don't need to use API keys, so you need to create this current credentials that is the current ID and the current secrets. Create configure consent first. And this is a interface that will be shown to the user once a user try to authenticate in your website in the user type you have to check if you want to use for internal users or external users because we are going to deploy the application we have to select external users and by default the new project required to create a you got to create a list of users that will be used to test the project but once the project is in production you have to you can see in the right hand here
this application test users uh, users that will be used to test your project in development for purpose here you have to put a development contact and we have to save and continue to scopes in the scopes here the google apis are limited to be assessed by any project so for a simple project you can assess you can have access to apis with scopes identified in your credentials here is the list of scopes you can also search because you are going to to use user info and email you have to check this one and by default scope will be added in the rest sensitive scope there is other apis that require sensitive scope here you have to configure now the test users and the test user i could i could tell you but in here the test users are users that will be allowed to log into our application in development purpose once this project is in production you have to submit the project for verification once done with creating a consent screen you can see here a publishing status that is, is testing if you want to publish now you can click here publish and it take some times so it, it takes some days for your app show for your project to be published and be available to users for development you have to add the test users here you have to put the email address or the username that will be allowed to use the google apis <laughs> In the credential, click a credit credential. Creating a PK, a PK is created by default once you create it. You can see now uh, you can show here your PK, but for security purpose I cannot show you any uh, and here you can create a credential you have to create another credential for instance if you want an hours to grant ID here to grant ID If I'm, use, I'm going to use in a web application, I have to select this one. If it is Android application, I have to select this one. Then um, now I'm going to use in a web application. Web client and the name of web client one with the default. Also, I have JavaScript. it in the low cost so I have to add this URL as I was already have a scripting as already direct when I use a login it is going to be redirected where you have to specify the direct URL Using different port, you can specify your port. But if you are using a default port, you then no need to specify. Let's say I use a type to this login. When, when you, oh, let's say four oh, hours to code.
this is the directory you are you know is a you are on that is once a user is authorized with a with their gmail account then they get the several time uh, uh, a code in the response and this code is used to provide or to exchange with the access token so you have to use this code in order to change to get access token and this access token comes with a refresh token and refresh token is used once a, an access token expire you will use the refresh token to get a new access token and that access token is you will include in any request authenticated with the user click here create here now you can see now current id this one mm -hmm. I current is like this one so you can download the json file now here click ok so you know what's going to have been created this one if you want to edit it you can edit it here and we have been able to download this json file thanks for watching my friends then in the next video i'll show you how to use these current credentials the current secrets and current id to call the google apis for instance we are going to create a project to send emails with these google apis and we also use this credential file to call youtube apis and as apis like google drive